Oh, welcome to episode 71 of Factorio. Uh, this episode, wow, look at that. Look at the amount of stuff that has been created. Even, even, we don't even use that any, uh, yet. So, um, why is this one not? Because this one's cool, yeah. So, basically, I've been doing this over and over again. Uh, time after time. Uh, I don't know what to say anymore. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, the machine is starting to create almost... That was not a real number. I don't know what it was copying. Something like that. So it would also create, uh, these ones. So it's creating, uh, all of these are being created. Uh, there's of course more stuff to be done. But for now, uh, nope. I don't want that. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't want to add more. I want to show you stuff. So we also have this kind of monstrosity thing. Uh, I was thinking about moving this one over. I tried it, didn't quite work out of the way around it because I need supplying here, maybe there. So I ended up putting that on the right sp spot. But what I did is I moved two steam engines over to the other side. Uh, and then we had, th th that worked, but then we had power issues because uh, the inner power grid should be different than this grid. Yeah, I could use pumps. Don't want to use pumps because if I use pumps and electricity goes all black out, it would not work. And I need something that works right then. <coughs> could use make some difficult bit accumulators and solar panels and stuff to get it working, etc., etc. Don't want to do that right now. What I do want to do is put on lights so this place here lights it up a little bit. One more. Uh, there are, um, in case of power outages, there are two normal stack inserters that make sure that everything gets enough, and there are four burners uh, that just started up when the power outage is, is completely happening. There are three pumps, we only need uh, two of them one is supplying the upper one, and then one supplying the inner one. With, uh, at the bottom one, we have two because, well, why not? Maybe, maybe we want to move this one. Uh, like a bit down like that because that would look nice I think um, then what I wanted to set up if this thing so um, I would be the total, total logic blots and T would be the total construction bots so I want um, 500 uh, set of those logistic robots in our network so on the right side it should go up but it's not capable of putting it in but there's too many of these ones in <sighs> come on you should not be that la like that you, you should be like this fine so now it will make sure that we have that maximum that I set it to in the network so we just move this one over to one right here um, so that would keep the rebels a little bit going this one is empty so it will this putting more rebels into this one if they are dying and you can see on the right side it's starting to reach a hundred five hundred so it's now and it stopped so that's nice then we also have construction robots but I don't need that many construction robots because why would we so we just set that to 50 and then we'll make sure that our 50 construction robots in the system which is nice then if we build something within uh, the area of uh, this then it will construct by its, uh, construct it by itself so that's nice too what I wanted to try start is the system that makes um, makes makes the uh, science things but I know that's going to be oh, let's put it in there it doesn't matter uh, that's going to be quite a bit of problem uh, there are only 30 robots flying don't want to know how it looks like when there are more flying flying so for the science stuff so a reddit user called a ding kings donuts uh, pointed out that the design I wanted to make uh, is being used by some guy on YouTube called Adders uh, a double d e r s <laughs> He has don't have much subscribers, even I have more. Uh, but he took it from a tutorial website which I could not find. So sorry for that info. But uh, I just wanted to share uh, that uh, it's not my design. But I need to redo a lot of it anyway. Ooh, this is a bit of weird. 
because I want a bit more on this side like that uh, I want to I want to try integrate it anyway because it's a nice design and uh, it, the ratios are kind of right but um, still would have the problem that it's not on the uh, not on the grid that I want to uh, but for now I want to just to move pipes along because there's so many pipes in between right here that are just getting frustrated to work with so uh, let me first get rid of those and uh, then we would start with the design of stuff so also these will need to be empty uh, not sure how I'm gonna do that I think what, what I'm gonna do is just disconnect to oil input completely and then put the oil input into uh, these ones, no, nope, I don't even want that. I only want you. Oh, that takes long for things. To, uh, this sounds weird because I just removed this one. But this is uh, connecting to the, the oil refineries. So the oil refineries will keep on going, uh, but they cannot put some stuff in there so that's a problem but the input of stuff I want to connect to that grid right there I'm just gonna move this like so I don't care about uh, the numbers anymore I will just connect that straight up to it so everything that goes in here I uh, will get pumped to the other station so I just need this one get through the station somehow oh well, the save is happening at that exact moment there's no do don't do it there but try to do it right here or something yeah it will be a good spot mm, a little bit more down come on come on bit no it needs to go more down oh come on work with me work with me Oh come on and work with me. There's only these. So let's start removing those. So it would be crude oil going up right here. So let's connect it up off. Like so. And then connect this pipe to the other pipe we had. Oh come on. We need to move so a lot of stuff eventually, but uh, hey, oh wait, we are already here. That's nice. So that's being connected. Then we can move uh, this pipe to that going through the right through the factory. That would uh, give me less headaches this way. <laughs> then we have another one. That's you. Like so, uh, you just connect it temporarily like that, I don't know. Alright, uh, then we need just pumps for the pressure, because the pressure now is quite low in the systems and I want to have good pressure in it, so let's do it like that. And these will create some pressure less pipes right here, and we'll try to put the pressure higher right there, so this would be higher pressure rate these ones don't work because they don't have uh, steel or things anymore so what I'm gonna just gonna do is walk down here to the normal chest and grab a ton of steel just to put them down to, into the system and I think there's too many of them right now uh, too many th uh, uh, things but uh, I don't mind about that uh, what I also want to try to do maybe is connect that up to the system I know I said I didn't want to but if we just connect it up so it would only drain from the system not putting stuff into it then the crude oil will go empty quite fast as you can see in the right side I think it's already dripping out I don't know no nope, probably not because there's no power yet in the system I don't want it to connect to anything but uh, hey uh, there's one big mess right here now with wires so let's disconnect you, connect you to you. 
then this will need to connect to there but you are already connected to that that should not be that way also you are connected to this one which should not be that way so now it's pumping out crude oil into the system although it's a little bit low um, there's not enough pressure right here something like that the crude oil is going down and then these barrels will just start draining and when they're totally drains um, we're done with uh, we, we, we can move this one away but for now I want to start on that um, system a little bit again um, we might wanna so this pipe we do need but if we just move that so so it will fit right here somewhere we don't have things anymore let's do these so we just connect it up so it's connected like this uh, then we won't have to bother much with it I think and we can do even one further uh, because this way um, there will be a little bit out of range uh, and it don't, will not bother me while building new parts so uh, let me just uh, move the pipes around and then we will come back to do some things about the science so I already started a little bit of the uh, design production and there's still oh wait the microphone there's still plenty more to, uh, stuff to do I'm a bit frozen up because I just came from the outside and it's like almost zero degrees uh, outside uh, which is quite literally cold <laughs> so um, I now have an uh, image of uh, this machine um, next to me and I can just try to rebuild it as shown uh, there's a few issues that I need to clear up because as you can see these ones don't have power and uh, sorry um, that's something to to fix later on because there should be a substation right here and I was thinking about well uh, if I want to place it right there I should check if it is possible because we, we could place it right there and but it should be right where should it be right there what should be possible we just remove it place it down and then make a bridge thingy like so and I rather have uh, this one going right there so it would have a full belt instead of an, 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 an half full belt like that so that would work um, that's that station yes and then it goes like that then we have something that takes from here with two uh, we could also maybe just use the green ones let's try that so it would use green ones and it would make um, it would place in another two assemblies right here and this one would create um, no normal yellow belt and this one would create uh, copper wire we put that copper wire again with a green inserter but then into an assembly that should be right here which doesn't really fit there so I'm just gonna remove that and think about it later on uh, we could not move it to the right side because uh, that would interfere with um, let's see it should be the original position should be right there why does this down work oh because that sub station what why is that so weird oh, because there's no power right there so yeah we might we might be able to place it might be right there but doesn't matter so we're gonna make green one here and I might redo uh, quite a bit of it uh, just to get things going uh, because I would like to keep on using the substation network with the system so this one don't have power anymore and it should have so we just do that and then it has uh, more power so it can produce full barrels put them into the system so we won't, won't have that big of a buffer here anymore it's already empty by the way so that's nice to know so you can uh, start removing that we just do that with robots because it's way faster um, but yeah that's uh, already empty so I'm just gonna remove that also meaning that we could remove these 
because they will not produce anything anymore uh, and there's more things to do um, but there's more for later on because I was working on the sign stuff so we have the green one here and we have a belt coming around here um, and that belt just putting into the system but also putting it out because we need that on the other side how does that work? Well this would put it on that side like that and then we would have one uh, straight right here and uh, no that's wrong this one would put it right there and put it out right there and then this one would just put that in and then we would make um, the, the yellow inserters yeah they're just called inserters so we made the inserters right there um, we would have an, an belt and that would put uh, all the iron we need on one side of the belts it would be like that but we need that on only so it will be two belts right here and we only need it to have on the right belt so we need to turn that probably around go up or right and go down I think it's nice if we do it like this then we will only on the right side so that's good that's right um, it looks a bit weird but doesn't matter then we need an assembly right there yeah oh I need to figure out a lot of more things to do because we cannot make an assembly right here what should this assembly do this assembly should put in um, gears into this machine and that's the only thing it would do yeah and gears onto this belt so we need to think about that uh, we may be doing it right I don't know I will just uh, go off and look uh, off camera a little bit um, to that section because it's it's getting tighter and tighter to to do that kind of stuff um, then we are getting close into putting this one down because that one should be somewhere right there I think where should it be so we have six blue ones that's right and then we have this one so we place this one down we need to remove this part I uh, already did this because originally I thought about um, having it the other way around but I wanted to have it this way around so we have inputs on this side mostly here and then we would have built uh, the science labs on this side so we can extend that downwards and that would be nice also I wanted to do is add in a buffer system somewhere that buffers are quite a bunch of items but for now uh, we I'm just keep on working on it um, so we've got a random life bulb we have there uh, and there's more s difficult stuff here happening which uh, frankly I do not know out of my head <laughs> and even looking into the images I cannot do that quite fast but uh, where I live we would, I was talking about that where I live it's uh, it's quite cold right here it should be the other way around why am I doing it the wrong way around you know it's quite uh, frankly quite cold in here where I live uh, it's about three, three degrees colder than where I usually live and it's uh, really cold I think um, it's around uh, it's, it's freezing outside right now so yeah that's, that's a bit cold um, for this side we wanted to do an um, we need to do we need to do right there like that I think no one more like that and uh, then we would pick it up from this one two long handed inserters what two long handed inserters we could rather do it differently it doesn't matter two long handed inserters two normal inserters and then uh, for the next one we need this and purple right here. How are we gonna do that? It's gonna give me some difficulties if we do it right there and then no, no, that wouldn't would, would, would not work. So there is already uh, some difficulties I'm running into because I, I can definitely do that one, but this one needs to move one over to the right, I think, because that would uh, leave us with long-handed inserters right there and short-handed inserters right there, and that would work. Why are those short and uh, long hands are the so short? This moment, the uh, arm didn't extend. Apparently, it's really weird extended arm thing. Doesn't quite matter. Uh, for the last one, we don't need to have 
uh, this wire going in there so we can just do it like that uh, for the upper one we do so we just connect that like that through it uh, so these go in here that's that's all fine and then uh, we would have um, not this one we just need we can also do it like that and then have a short one why not you know why not we need to make a uh, purple ones here so if we make an assembly like there and just put it out and for purple ones we need blue ones so we're gonna make blue ones right here and then we would put in blue ones uh, we, we would make an underground belt going from this side go right there and then uh, we would take normal yellow ones it's gonna be made right here that he's one of Google taken right here somehow <laughs> because we need to go through some system and then uh, it goes up and it will make blue ones uh, and there so will also be no more belts right there uh, but this one uh, then needs an input and we can do that and that one needs an input so that's nice yeah we can do that this one doesn't have any uh, power connected um, we still need to do that, but I will do that uh, all off camera soon because I will just keep on doing this stuff I don't know if you like this part where I'm just building from something uh, If you do leave it leave it leave it down in the comments below if you don't Then do it also because I want to know I want to know you guys um, What you like and what you do not like so uh, for now Thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope to see you another time so How should we do this? Anyway, I hope to see you another time soon. Uh, but for now, uh, have a nice day and goodbye.